Why is the I'll give 50, you give 50 mentality wrong? That's because like, we're not the government. <laughs> no, I, I hear this all the time, and I think there could be negotiation in marriage, and there mm-hmm. should be. Or if there's not negotiation, there's fighting. Yeah. But we're not the government. We don't have to make compromises. We should always be negotiating for the benefit of the whole. Yes. But if you don't have a whole, if you're 50-50, then you're trying to get yours. Yes. So it has to be 100% so that there's a unified goal in every negotiation that you're engaging in. Right. So you really need to make sure that you're not a 50 percenter. Right. That she's not a 50 percenter and you're not looking at either party as such. Which goes with the taking full ownership of an issue because you're not coming like you didn't do your half. Right. You're coming with, I want the best for all of us. And yeah. so I'm I'm owning it so that we as one can fix this. I think that's the greatest thing that you could get to in a marriage relationship is she's mine, I'm hers. Yeah. And truly believing that. And that that takes work and that takes a lot of personal work. Yeah. A lot of self-work to get to a place where you actually believe that. Yeah. Because we're not made for that. We're made to think of our own Mm self-interest, which is fine because we need to survive. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) I think the other person in the relationship would want us to survive as well. Right. But when we enter into a marriage union, there, there has to be this work that starts to happen where we start to believe that everything of mine, my money, my body, my time, my commitments, my dreams, Mm -hmm. just so many aspects of what makes us us is hers. Right. So it doesn't just affect me, it affects my spouse. Yeah. Yeah, because then everything both ways, and, and don't give so much of yourself when they're giving nothing, yeah. There's a, I think there's a balance where you don't want to just give up yourself to another person mm-hmm. without there being any conversation of them also offering themselves right. to you. Yeah. That is where it's a trade, mm-hmm. you know? You can have all of me, I'll have all of you. Right, because it should be both 100%, 100%. Right. Another thing that might be helpful and can be a reason why marriages fail is we also don't communicate when we have times that we're at 80%. Mm. We also don't communicate when there are times where we wake up or we're going through something at work or a situation is happening in our lives that we only can give a certain percentage of ourselves to that marriage. Yeah. We don't make our, our spouse aware of this, so we leave them wondering, and we leave them making assumptions about what's going on in the relationship of why we're not putting out. Yeah. Especially if we've established things, right. good things, in that relationship of what 100% for me looks like. Right. So just making your spouse aware that you're still there for them, you still love them, but this is a hard time and you're just struggling yeah. to give your best. I think it would be so helpful if people woke up and said, hey, today's an 80% day <laughs> or today's a, today's a 50. Yeah. You know, I love you. I'm choosing to love you. I'm choosing right. to yeah. invest in this relationship still. But man, I'm going to struggle to give you much of what I would desire to give you today. Yeah, I think that awareness is key. I would argue that doing that is still giving 100%. Yeah. It's just not your typical. Right. So making your spouse aware that whatever is going on, let them know what's going on and how it's affecting you and that you're doing your best. Right. Um, Something, though, that telling them kind of where you're at, mm-hmm. obviously, this is just a random right. percentage you're making that it you've up. <laughs> made up in your, yeah, you've yeah. made up in your head, but it will give them an operating yeah. point where yes. they'll be able to be like, okay, 
you know what? He's operating at, operating at 80. Maybe I need to step up to 120 today. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be a 120 in the relationship so right. that we're operating operating at 100%. Right. And and this percentage is not just of what love you can give. Mm -hmm. This is all of those factors that I talked about of what makes up that relationship. Right. All of me. I, I'm just not going to be able to put out physically. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to put out emotionally. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to put out for our relationship in the same way. Right. And that's when that choice of love and love acting itself out in those purposeful actions comes in handy to really help support that person even when you're going over and beyond and it might wear you out. But that is going to pay back in the end Yeah. when you're both doing that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah.